Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is Monday and I thought I would start off a little vlog this week. Um, I'm actually going to a really exciting event tonight at the King Street Townhouse Hotel, which is the most beautiful hotel in Manchester that I've wanted to stay at for so long. Um, so I'm very excited to be staying there tonight and going to an event with Esper. It's for the launch of their Christmas collection, which I imagine will be up by the time this video goes out. So if it is, I will link it below. Um, but we're going to be making festive wreaths and having a lovely meal, um, which will be so nice. I'm actually running pretty late. Um, so I'm just gonna finish getting myself ready now. But but hopefully I will have time to give you a quick room tour once I get to the hotel. Okay, so this is the gorgeous room that I'm staying in. Um, we've got a lovely big bed which looks so comfortable. Um, and then loads of Esper goodies. Um, I cannot wait to try some of these out tonight. I absolutely love this product. This is the, was it focusing? Um, this is the Optimal Skin Pro Serum. Oh, I've used this one as well, the Overnight Hydration Therapy. That's a really good one as well. Um, and yeah, there's just loads of goodies all over. Got um, a little sitting area here, and then a dressing table, and the beautiful bathroom again with loads of Esper goodies. Um, this is what I'm wearing tonight. I don't think there is a full length mirror, but it's basically. In fact, if you watch my um, last haul, um, it's the H&M dress from that. So I've got that on with my little Reese tan belt. Um, so yeah, this is the room. If I sound a little bit croaky, it's because. I am just recovering from a cold and um, it's just about gone but yeah I'm still feeling a little bit croaky. Ooh, the espresso machine in there, I might just have one of those before I go up because I am pretty tired but yeah um, I'm just going to head up now so I shall catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> but that was actually the first like proper event I've ever been to um so yeah I was just like a little bit overwhelmed with all the stuff going on but it was really really lovely um I was a little bit nervous before going because obviously I didn't know what to expect um but everyone was so nice and yeah it was just really nice to do something a little bit different but I thought um whilst I was here I would just film um a bit of like an evening skincare routine and um, I'm going to use some of the new products that Esper kindly gifted to me um and yeah I'll just show you some of the products that I use day to day so first of all I'm just going to like take off the bulk of my makeup with my micellar water so I've just had to change the camera battery because my other one died um but once I've like removed the bulk of my makeup I then go in with um, my first cleanser um, I'm just going to use the Caudalie Vino Clean um, Cleansing Milk today um Esper did actually put a cleanser in the gift set uh, but I have quite a few cleansers on the go at the minute, so I just thought I'd save that one. But this one is a really nice cleanser. Um, obviously, it's a milk. Um, good if you have dry skin. I'm just going to apply that, rub it in for a bit, and then remove it with uh, a face cloth. <laughs> Okay, and then the second cleanser I'm going to go in with is my favourite. Um, it is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Um, I just recently re-bought this. Uh, every time I try a new cleanser, I always go back to this one. Because it's just my favourite. Um, it kind of just is what it says on the tin. It's very, very fresh. Um, again, great if you have dry skin. 
um, like doesn't irritate your skin at all and I just really love the smell of it to be honest it's really refreshing when you put it on uh, especially if you use it in the morning and it's just good at removing your makeup essentially <laughs> So now all my makeup has been removed, I am going to go in with the Espa um, Refining Skin Polish. Uh, so what does it say to do with this? I've never actually used this product before. So it says, use one to two times a week, move over damp face and massage lightly in circular movements, then rinse. Okay, so I don't need to leave it on for any amount of time, so it's not a mask. Um, no, so it's not got any like beads or anything in it. Um, it smells really. Oh no, it does. It does. So they're very like, fine beads. I love products like this. It really feels like it's getting right into your pores. So my skin feels exceptionally clean and smooth after that. Um, and I'm now going to go in with serum. Um, Esper did put the Optimal Skin Pro Serum into the gift box. But I actually already have an open one at home that I didn't bring with me. So there's no point in me opening a new one. But oh my god, that product is amazing. Um, if you've not tried it, I would definitely, definitely recommend. It's so nice if you apply it with like a rose quartz roller. It makes your skin just feel so moisturised. Um, and you just wake up like glowing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use the Codely... Final Source Hydra Serum. I love this one as well. This is more like a like typical serum texture, whereas the Esper Optimal Skin Serum is like an oil. And then I'm gonna go in with eye cream and I'm gonna use the Esper um, Deep Puff and Soothe Eye Gel. Love. Oh, it's quite a gel texture, okay. Yeah. Quite light, I would say. Um, yeah, I love a good eye cream. And God knows I need it today. Um, I didn't go to bed till like four o'clock this morning after getting back from Parma. Um, but I will update you on that in my Parma vlog. I'm not sure which one will go out first, but yeah, I'm very, very, very tired today. I cannot wait to get into that bed. It looks so comfy. So I'm just like tapping this in, I mean, I don't really know if that's how I'm going to apply it, but that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, this is quite a light eye cream, I would say. And then finally, I'm going to go in with night cream. So I am using the Esper Overnight Hydration Therapy. Um, I've used this before and it is such a nice, uh, like really thick moisturising cream. It's great for winter. Um, it smells amazing. It's very like kind of like lavender and essential oils, which is kind of like what all Esper products smell like really. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful and such a hydrating cream. Like it's very, very thick and luxurious. So if you have dry skin, then I would definitely recommend this one. That feels so nice. Oh, and then I'm also just going to apply a bit of lip balm. Um, my fave is the By Terry Balm de Rose. Uh, this is so moisturising. Nearly at the end now, but we'll definitely rebuy this. In my opinion, it is worth the money. And that's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get into bed now. I have booked a pool slot in the morning. A really cute like, infinity style pool that looks out over Manchester at uh, the hotel so I will take you along to that in the morning and I so it is a very good morning indeed um I just ordered room service and I went for the eggs benedict got some fruit um yogurt and granola an oat latte and some apple juice cannot wait to dig into this <laughs> So it has been a 
good few days since I last spoke to you. Um, honestly, I've just been completely wiped out the last few days. I think just like getting back off holiday, going straight to the event, still feeling ill, just completely took me out. So I have been um, taking it easy. But it's now Friday lunchtime and we have just popped out to bring the dog for a walk. Um, I'll show you in a second. He's just got his new coat on and he just looks adorable. He's a little bit unsure about it still, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah, we're just going for a quick walk and then gonna grab a coffee. Hello! So Hi. here he is in his new jacket. Don't you look handsome? We bought this like months ago and I've been trying to get him in it for the longest time but it hasn't fit. Um, but now just as we come into autumn, it's the 1st of October today and his new jacket is on. Um, we got this from Mutts and Hounds. It's really, really cute. It's like a little wool tweed situation with a cute little collar. Oh, you look so cute. Hello. Are you being a good boy? <laughs> Aren't you? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I just thought I'd do a bit of a windswept outfit of the day. Um, so I'm wearing this checked wool coat. This is from H&M last year. I nearly didn't buy this actually. Um, and I'm denied for ages and I'm so, so glad now that I bought it because it is one of my faves. And then I have on a little just like black knitted vest from Mango, um, a new belt. I'm just going to show you. Just got this from Mango in Parma. And then some straight leg leather trousers and my ASOS loafers. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing. Oh, and my Celine Sunnies that were in my latest haul as well. So I arrived home to the most beautiful um, flower delivery. These are from a brand called Flowered. Flowered. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I will leave them linked down below. Um, they very kindly emailed to see if I would like um, them to send me a bunch of flowers as a little pick me up, um, which was so so nice of them, and they are so beautiful. Love me some roses and also some eucalyptus. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop these into a vase now. Uh, actually, my, I'm using my nice vase already because I do actually have another bunch of flowers um, this week. Um, but we'll sort some out, I'm sure. <laughs> managed to get them all into um, my little cute jug from H&M Home. Um, I did bring through a second option because I wasn't sure but um, I think they look really nice in that actually. Just cut a couple of centimetres off the stems because it's said to do that anyway to be fair. Um, but yeah they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think these are all, are they roses as well? I think they're all just roses but different sizes um, but I absolutely love them. That's really um, brightened up my Friday afternoon. So whilst I'm here I just thought I would show you a, another very exciting delivery that arrived this week. Um, so, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm brilliant at this aren't I? Right, take two. So this is, oh it's not focusing, um, a delivery from Polen Paris. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've heard it pronounce Pauline and Pelen, but I'm going to go with Pelen. Um, but they are a beautiful, beautiful brand. Um, they're kind of like an entry level designer bag brand. Um, I'm sure you will have seen them on Instagram, but they just produce the most incredible, beautiful quality designs. Um, they're around the like 250 to 350 pound um, price point. Obviously 100% leather. Um, and honestly, the quality of these bags, I would say definitely rivals like some of the highest um, end designer bags. Um, and it's such an experience when you receive one as well. This was very, very kindly gifted to me feel like I've said that all throughout this video. I promise I do buy things myself as well. Um, but obviously it's just one of the huge perks of the job. Um, and I don't want you to think I take it for granted either. Like, 
I'm as excited as you would imagine um, about receiving these things and I'm just like blown away that I do receive such amazing gifts. But yeah, they did send this to me, but when you buy a Pullen bag, it comes beautifully packaged. I've actually already unboxed this. Couldn't wait when it came the other day. Um, but yeah, it comes with like a tissue paper and then you get a beautiful dust bag as well. Um, and this is the bag that I went for. Oh, it's just stunning. Um, so this is called <clears throat> the Umi bag, but it is the most beautiful shape. Um, it's kind of very Prada-esque, but you've got like a long kind of wide crossbody strap. This can also be altered so you can wear it as a like a baguette style bag, like a shoulder bag, um, which is probably how I would mostly wear it. But it's obviously really nice to have the option. Um, I think the crossbody will be more practical for day to day. And then if you are taking this bag into the evening, um, you could then adjust it whilst you're out and wear it as a shoulder bag. Um, I love that about it. It's very much a day to night bag. I probably wouldn't take this on like a night out, but if I was going out shopping and then going out for like a casual dinner, um, then I would definitely take this bag. Um, so yeah, it's got the very minimal branding at the bottom there. You can see it just says Palen. And I went for the, I think this is called the chalk color. So it's kind of like an off-white, See, it's quite cool toned, like slightly, very slight hint of grey in it. Um, but it's just a gorgeous colour that I just think will go with so much in my wardrobe. Um, with like tonal outfits, this is just going to be beautiful. Um, and it's also a really, really good size, you can see. Um, and I'll just show you inside. So this is the inside. So you've got a, like a flap pocket there. Um, and then just a big compartment. I imagine you could fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, I've not actually used it yet, obviously, but um, you could definitely get like sunglasses, purse, phone, keys, makeup, and potentially a little makeup bag in there as well. Um, so yeah, all the essentials. So it's very practical and I just think it's just the most beautiful, like unique shape as well. Um, that's another thing I love about Plen bags is that like they're always so minimal and chic, but also have a bit of a unique um, edge to them in terms of like the shape. Um, but the branding is always really minimal, which I love. So yeah, I am so, so happy with this. I imagine I will probably take it out at the weekend. Um, so I will show it you in situ then. <music> I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing before I try on a few bits. Hopefully you can hear me because the music's quite loud, but we'll have to see. Um, right, so I've got on this little basic rib knit from Zara. My H&M coat, I always get a lot of questions about this on Instagram, but it is from last year, unfortunately. I did see that Mango have quite a similar one though online, so I will link that one down below. Um, and I'll see if I can find any other options as well. And then I've got on my Zara straight leg jeans. These are still available, I believe, so I will link these. And then these loafers are Zara. And then I've got my new Pelem bag on. Got it worn as like a baguette style bag. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And it can fit loads in as well because I've got my camera in there and all my other bits as well. So yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying on this belted like wrap jacket. Um, it's a very similar like fabric and tone to the coat that I'm wearing today. Um, but yeah, it's just got this like collarless detail, very simple, um, ties with a waist belt. Um, I really, really like this. I think it's very like chic, um, giving me very like Parisian vibes. Um, I do have something pretty similar though from four from Reckless that I got last year. And I think I actually prefer that to be honest. Um, it might be because I'm trying this on in a size small, maybe in a smaller size, it might be better. But it is beautiful, I just don't think I need it. Now this I absolutely love. 
Um, it's just like a really long, like maxi length cardigan in the nicest fabric. It's just this like cream colour, very simple. Has no pockets or anything, um, but it's just the most gorgeous kind of like coatigan vibe. Oh, I really, really love this. Um, it's $59.99 though, so it's quite expensive. And I do have a lot of maxi cardigans, but then again, I do wear them all the time. Like they're so easy to chuck on at home, and then you can obviously wear them out as well, like dressed up. Oh, this is so, so beautiful. Do I need it? Wish I could ask you in real time, but I do love it. And then last of the coats is this gorgeous like oversized camel wool coat. I absolutely love the like exaggerated like collar and lapel detail here. Um, it's got a belt, it's absolutely stunning. It's quite a thick like wool material, so it'd be a good one to keep you warm this time of year and then obviously it's quite oversized as well so you could layer underneath it the only thing I'm unsure about well actually there's two things first is the sleeves I just think they would look nicer if they were a little bit more tapered don't know if because I'm quite petite it kind of drowns me a little bit um, and then the other thing is it's got this like popper situation and um, that's like the closure I just don't like that you can see the poppers when the coat is like unfastened and I probably would wear it like this mostly so yeah, I don't know. Also the lighting in here is terrible. And here it is, um, done up. I think I love it, you know. It's so nice. It's just this like lapel situation that I just really, really like. It just looks really chic and really expensive. Um, I think this is £140, so obviously it's pricey, but this is a like winter coat that would see you through so many winters. Oh. Do I need it? I might just like think about it and either come back later or order it online. Ah. It came in black as well. Um, so if you are on the hunt for like a classic black coat, then this would be a really good option. But yeah, I will leave everything that I've tried on linked down below along with the sizes that I tried on as well. Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop very very similar to the one I've got on um, it's only $39.99 as well which is a bit of a bargain so I'll try and link this down below but that's quite a good one oh my god this trench is gorgeous as well you can only see one here but I really like the tone of it um, and it's $49.99 which is a pretty good price for a trench coat um, yeah it's really nice kind of like a cool toned beige colour it's got the detail on the cuffs no flap at the back though but I don't really mind that too much maybe if we can find this in my size I'll try it on um, annoyingly the changing rooms in H&M are still aren't open so I can't actually take anything in but yeah we'll see if we can find this elsewhere I love the colour of this cardigan as well I feel like I'm being really drawn to like taupey shades at the minute 
Um, this is $24.99. I always love H&M jeans as well, and these look like a really nice wash for like autumn winter. Um, they are $19.99. I've just seen they've got a few of my coat from yesterday in the Manchester store. Um, so if you are local and you're looking for it, they've got a size 12, um, 14, and a 10. Just in another stories now, and this card again is really cute. I like the color detail, 65 pounds. Another belted wrap coat in here, um, but in camel. I think I prefer the mango one though to be honest and this one is more expensive it's 135 another gorgeous beige coat this is like a really classic style with like the single buttons down the center and this one is 175 pounds okay so I've just spotted this coat which is like near enough an exact dupe for the one I'm wearing today I'll just hold the one the exact same tone exact same fabric pretty much the only difference is that this one has a tie waist belt um i actually potentially prefer it to mine you know so nice it is 175 pounds um so more expensive than mine but this will last you for seasons and seasons to come it's a really nice quality definitely will have a high wool content in there okay so here is the coat on absolutely beautiful and a lot a lot like my H&M one so these are some of the bits we picked up today um, I mean tell me you're ready for winter without telling me you're ready for winter um, we went for the hazelnut drinking chocolate from Hotel Chocolat um, I've not had this one before actually uh, but I have had the white chocolate and also the salted caramel and they are both delicious. Um, we don't actually have a velvetizer, you're supposed to use it with the velvetizer. Um, but we just use the milk frother on our coffee machine and I mean I don't can't compare the two but it tastes absolutely beautiful anyway. Um, and then I got a candle from HomeSense, it is a sand and fog um, golden spice. I always go for these got sand and fog ones because they are like 12 99 for like a huge candle and obviously you burn through them so quick um, so it's just like a good price for a decent sized candle. Um, this one smells kind of like wintry, a little bit festive but I can't wait to get that on later whilst we watch a film. And then also from HomeSense, I couldn't resist this little olive green cable knit jumper for Wally. just thought this was adorable. Sorry I didn't film anything in HomeSense but it was just like rammed in there. And then we also bought some new pillows from HomeSense too and after that it was just impossible to film anything because we just had loads of stuff to carry. And then clothes wise the only thing I ended up getting was the cream maxi cardigan from Mango. Um, there wasn't really much in H&M, they seem to have a lot of like last year's stock, either things that I already have or things that I remember seeing last year. Um, and then we did go in Zara as well but there was absolutely nothing in there so I didn't really film at all. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Uh, we're just about to sit down and eat a Nando's, we've got a takeaway on the way back and we've both been craving one for ages. And then we are going to sit down and watch a film. Um, we've been watching all the uh, Daniel Craig Bond films in preparation to go and see the new one next weekend. Um, so that'll be nice. But yeah, I really enjoyed filming this vlog. So I imagine I will probably film another one next week, if not the week after. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video.